You know, we all have wounds, right? Um, a lot of ours are on <laughs> the outside. We got plenty on the inside too, uh, but we all share that, that woundedness uh, in our lives. And so the question becomes, how can we get healed? And I think that question just uh, reverberated so personally in our lives. We just realized it was a message we all long for. The world and the church alike want to know, like, can God use the suffering that he's taken me through? Is he even there? Why would he do this? All these questions resound when we go through painful things in our life. And, uh, you know, God calls us into redefining everything in our life, mm -hmm. redefining it in a person, <laughs> and that person mm -hmm. is Jesus Christ. And so when we talk about hope healing, we're not talking about human spirit. We're not talking about this resilience. We're talking about the hope that we are anchored in. Jesus has gone before us beyond the veil. Yeah. Like we are anchored in the future that's not yet happened. You know, so we see these storms around us and, and yet we can have this peace that's transcendent because we are founded, we're not going anywhere. And that is hope that really allows us to take that next step of really healing, of being aware of our losses and wounds and, and grieving those, but knowing that those are not the end of our story. And what is so powerful about this notion of hope healing you is there's so much less attachment to the here and now of what's happening in my personal myopic view of this is the worst day ever, this is the worst thing ever. You, you have this sense, if you believe that your hope has healed your soul, the most broken place, mm -hmm. then you're less attached to the outcomes of the here and now. You have the ability to look at your situation and say, my soul is healed. Jesus has healed my soul. So I may not get my physical healing on earth. And I don't put God in a box. I may be healed in 30 years or 60 years or in heaven one day. It's a little bit irrelevant when, because the broken thing was my heart when this happened at 26 years old. But what healed was that place, that feeling, that hurt soul, the need of God to come in and say, no, I'm making this okay. In fact, much better than just okay. <laughs> I'm making this the, like your call. This is your ministry. This is the beauty I'm using. I, I'm taking the worst thing that's ever happened to you, Catherine and Jay, and I'm making it beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's the story of Joseph in the Bible, <laughs> what mm -hmm. God what Satan intends for evil, God uses for tremendous good. And ultimately, for us to steward for his glory, we have this amazing opportunity <laughs> to use this horrible thing that happens and leverage it for the kingdom. And mm -hmm. what could be better than that?